Hi everyone, it's Natalie from NellyDesign.com. Today I want to show you a special tool that is in Cricut Design Space and that is very useful, but unfortunately very complicated for people to understand it. I say to understand it because once you understand it, it is very easy to use and very helpful. So this tool is called Contour and it's right here at the bottom right corner. And for that, I'm going to be using one of my free SVG files that you can find in Nelly Design Library. It's called Welcome to Playa del Paseo, because this is where we're going to be spending our summer this year. <laughs> so, uh, to use it, it's, it's useful to get rid of things you don't want when it's stuck on the same layer and there's nothing you can do about it. Like this one... Let's say that my file was not perfect for you. I'm sure it is, but let's just pretend. <laughs> so you would like to remove uh, the welcome right here. Um, first of all, what you'll need to do is to ungroup and select the layer you want to uh, adjust. And then contour will be highlighted. You're going to click on contour and this is when you're going to be able to modify whatever you don't want. Now this is the complicated part because the tool itself is pretty straightforward knowing what it does but when it comes to removing it's the gray shades that are right here are really complicated to understand you don't know what is on what is off and you see the thing is that you can click and remove things and make them appear and disappear so let's just click out and you see what it did let's just undo this There you go. And I'm going to show you my little trick. So when your screen is big enough, what you can do, and now I don't want to move everything, so I'm going to just select all of the layers and I'm going to go and put them right here. The further I can put them, see like that, because that's what I want to see. And then when I'm going to be using contour, selecting only the one I need right now, using contour, I'm going to be able to see what's happening uh, on the side of my screen. Now my screen is not that big because I'm recording, but if you're able to have a bigger screen and you'll be able to see it, or maybe what you can do also, let's, let me see, you could also scale it so you can see it better. So let's scale it down and now we see everything. Let's click again on welcome and use the contour tool. So now you see it and it's going to be easier for you to know that, okay, this is the W I'm, I'm getting rid of. And now the E, oh, I need to click here too, because, you know, that was not really straightforward to know. So once you get the hang of it, you'll figure out all those gray shades, what those gray shades means. <laughs> but, you know, sometimes it's pretty hard to understand. Now this one is pretty easy in the sense that we want to remove every letters. So we can always do hide all contour and everything will be hidden and you'll be left with this. Now there's not there's no any okay button. So this is what it when when it gets complicated too. You you're like, what am I doing? And I keep mixing like this button for a okay button. So if I don't go like this, it, it reappears. So that's not good. So let's do again. Hide all contour. Don't do like me. So the thing you need to do is just close it with the X. So that's another thing that gets people mixed up. Me anyway. So, so now that it's done, uh, you can do whatever you want with it. What I want to show you, another thing that is uh, pretty fun to do. Sometimes you have like all text that is all the same color. Uh, I don't do my files that way. I usually put colors or I usually let you... Uh, have multiple layers so you can use them, modify them. But let's say I did that set, that exact file in another way, meaning I'm going to go and get it. Let's go and browse. And I made one that is totally black, which is pretty boring, I think. So you all have that one, but it's just for demonstration purpose. So... Let me hide the one we had before that is all colored so you don't get mixed up. So we have this one that is in one layer. 
and let's say you would like to color this one exactly like the other one was but you know I'm not that kind and I gave it to you all black <laughs> I'm just kidding so the thing you're going to want to do is uh, duplicate this one as many times as color you have so let's say we have one two three four five well this yellow one could be in the same layer as the patio one so one two three four so we're going to duplicate it three times and then let's color it um do you know that little uh fun color sync thing it is very fun let me show you we're gonna open back the colors one the color one and we're gonna go into color sync and now you have all the colors that are right there and the funny thing you can do very fun is just to drag every one of them onto the correct layer and now we have four different colors so let's go back I'm gonna remove these one again sorry about that just so you sh you see everything correctly and now this is when I go to contour so let me put this one right here and go to contour this one we want the sun and the patio so we're gonna remove everything we don't want so if we try to hide a whole contour the thing it's gonna do is that the first one on top is gonna stay open and the other one are gonna go off so we're gonna try to get the sun here that's the one we want and you see that right here i don't want the the center of the sun so let's get rid we'll get all these little ones we could also find them in this menu but it's so confusing i don't know about you so this looks like it is is it on is it off i'm not sure here it is i think it's on by chance I see it right here so it's easier for me to understand um, and we're gonna get patio too so you see I have to click inside the A if I just do that it's gonna be only the O I need to click inside the O this is not obvious for me I don't know about you but I'm not even sure I'm fine right now but I probably am because it looks like the same thing as the A and the P the gray shades anyway so this is what I want I want to get rid of this let's try to get rid of all of that I think they're all gone so now don't click here <laughs> click on the X and let's see what we have yeah it's fine so let's go here we're gonna need to keep playa so again we'll do the same thing like I said, I like to move it aside to see it. Contour. And now, lucky me, Playa is just up there. So it's almost everything I need. Let's get the P. See, I don't know what I did there. And now I need to remove inside of the L, inside of the A, inside of the Y, and the A. So I think we have it too. So we have the playa and we're gonna take the Dell and let me fast forward so you don't get bored. <laughs> So here we go we modified it and now it's exactly as the original one was now maybe one last thing i'll show you we'll try again okay so now i want to show you what happens if you want to modify a cricut design space image so we're going to go into the image and what i like to do sometimes is check out what's free this week and right now there are some pretty cool images with a lot of colors and hearts and everything. So let's just select this one just for fun. And let's say first that we want to 
uh, remove those little lines. So like we did before, either you can put it on the side or at the bottom, but it's going to be easier if you put it right here and you go and select the yellow la layer and use contour again. So you're going to be able to see what's happening. And if you're not, if you have trouble selecting everything, uh, you have a zoom right here that I forgot to tell you about. So, so like this, and now those little lines are gone and I can see live what's happening. Um, the fun thing I want to show you, so of course, if you want to remove one thing, all you can really do it easily. So what happens if you want to take this green weight and change it color? Well, you can't change the color because it's all uh, all the green are on the same layer. If you change the color, it's going to change all the items that are on that layer. So what you do is that you duplicate it once, go into the duplicated layer and you go contour. You're going to be selecting all contour. And since the weight is pretty obvious shape, it's easy to find right here in this menu. So we're going to be keeping this one and we're going to be hiding the other one. So we see it at the bottom right here. Let's close this. So now we have the weight alone. And for the other layer, the other green layer, we're going to do the opposite. So we're going to be selecting again. Instead of hiding everything, we're going to hide only the weight because we don't want it anymore. We don't want the, the green one. We want it purple. So going back to color sync again, where you're going to take the weight and put it on the purple layer. And here you go. It's purple right now. And we're going to be placing it back right there. And of course, when you're going to be ready to cut it, you're going to be, you're going to need to attach this uh, weight with the, the other purple layer. So for that, we're going to be ungroup and then select the both, both of the purple layer and attach. And now you're ready to cut. So I really hope that you enjoyed uh, this little trick of mine and that now you finally understand contour and it will be really easier for you to use it. And I hope you will be using it a lot because there's a lot of files that are free and that if you modify them, you can do a lot of things with them. So uh, if you did like this video, please give me a thumbs up and I'll see you very soon. Bye bye.